Concerned by persistent oversight of Nigerian authorities when appointing public officers and deliberate insensitivity to the plight of people living with disability in the country, the community of persons with disabilities have made renewed calls for the appointment of members of their group in President Bola Tinobu's administration. Speaking during a press conference on Tuesday in the country's capital, Abuja, staunch members of the community made a case for an inclusive government as they lamented the exclusion of people living with disabilities from the list of ministerial nominees recently submitted to the Senate. So once again, welcome. The Executive Director, Inclusive Friends Association, IFA, Grace Jerry, said the omission of members of their community is not in consonance with the Discrimination Against Persons with Disabilities Prohibition Act 2018, which stipulates the inclusion of at least 5% of persons with disabilities in public office appointments. Similarly, a media entrepreneur, Agbo Christian Obiora, opined that including members of their group in government positions will not only reaffirm Nigeria's commitment to equality, but project the country as an inclusive society that draws from its diversity. In the same vein, Cedar Seed Foundation's arrowhead, Lois Outer, said snobby persons living with disabilities on Nigeria's cabinet list dampened their morale as they expected the federal government to be more sensitive to their plight. The recent ministerial list proposed by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has unfortunately overlooked the integral role that persons with disabilities can and should play in Nigeria's governance. This omission is not in accordance with the Discrimination Against Persons with Disabilities Prohibition Act 2018, which calls for the inclusion of at least 5% of persons with disabilities in public office appointments. The current lack of representation in the Federal Executive Council marks a missed opportunity to advance equality and justice for persons with disabilities in Nigeria. Including persons with disabilities in key governmental positions has tremendous societal benefits. Not only does it affirm our commitment to equality, but it also fosters a more inclusive society that truly represents the diversity of our citizenry. Persons with disabilities bring unique perspectives and experience to decision-making processes, ensuring that policies and strategies are reflective of and responsive to the needs and the rights of all Nigerians. There was even a discussion about the possible creation of a dedicated Ministry for Disability Affairs. Regrettably, the absence of persons with disabilities in the new cabinet list deflates the hope and anticipation fostered by these discussions. We are deeply concerned by this oversight and we, the undesigned representatives of the disability community, wish to draw attention to our immediate demands. Number one, immediate appointment of persons with disabilities into ministerial positions at the national level and commissioner positions at state levels. The founder, All Right Foundation, TAF Africa, Jake Epele, further enumerated the demands of the community as he sued for a constructive dialogue with President Tinobu while insisting that persons living with disabilities should be included in policy formulations affecting their members. The chief facilitator, Ene Ede, of Equity Advocates stressed the unique qualities that make members of our community eligible for key positions in the country as she emphasized what Nigeria stands a chance of gaining from the contribution of PLWD. Our further demands include the enforcement of Section 29 of the Discrimination Against Persons with Disability Prohibition Act 2018, which provides to the effect that a minimum of 5% appointment quota for persons with disability at all levels of government, including states. 
Furthermore, we demand a constructive and inclusive dialogue with President Bola, Tinubu, and relevant government authorities to discuss the concern and aspirations of persons with disability. Ensuring inclusion of persons with disability in decision-making process concerning policies that directly or indirectly affect them. The example is the Palliative Committee on Subsidy Removal, which we are not part of at this time. We kindly present a timeline of seven days, seven days, hoping to see the initiation of measures that addresses our enumerated concerns, the concerns just uh, enumerated above. Countless individuals with disabilities possess not only the required knowledge and skills, but also the fortitude and resilience born from their unique life experiences, making them exceptionally qualified to serve in various capacities. Far from being mere symbols of diversity, these individuals are capable leaders who can drive change, foster innovation, and contribute significantly to our nation's progress. In 2019, Nigeria's government took a gigantic step of ratifying the Discrimination Against Persons with Disabilities Prohibition Act 2018. However, implementation of this legislation has been slow and discouraging, with government at times forgetting such acts exist, but efforts of this magnitude are expected to give PLWD community better recognition on the country's decision table. In Abuja, Nigeria's capital, Abiodun Mohammed, Top Accolade News.